there are only a few top guys in the league. So in this series, I'm going to look at some of the up and coming stars who are making their way into the spotlight. For this episode, we are traveling back to the frozen tundra in Buffalo to look at an extremely underrated young star in Gabriel Davis. Allen has time now. Here they come. Throwing to the end zone. Was it caught? Touchdown! Out of Fernandina Beach, Florida, Gabriel made the trip to Sanford with his mother, and it's really where he began his football journey. At his grandfather's house, Gabriel was first introduced to the aspect of playing football when he saw the Sanford Pop Warner League playing right across the street. Although he was too young at the time, Gabriel's mother promised that he could play once he got to that age. Fast forward a few years, and in Gabriel's very first week at Pop Warner, he was in the groove running around and doing conditioning. But the following week things changed once contact was involved. After coming home crying, his mother thought to take him out until a co-worker advised her to keep him in it. Thanks to whomever this co-worker is, and have a nice day. Anyways, Gabriel stuck with football, and throughout elementary, middle, and then high school, he just kept on getting better and better. Not only was Gabriel a super talented football player, but he also was an honorable student as he excelled on and off the field. This drive to not only be good on the football field, but also in the classroom allowed Gabriel to dominate as a senior with over 1300 yards and 17 touchdowns as he gained some legit attention in the swamps. Following his senior campaign, Gabriel gained some interest from some smaller D1 schools in UCF, Appalachian State, and FIU. Although a tough decision, Gabriel decided UCF was the best shot to get experience at the highest level, and so he became a knight. Gabriel was one of the hardest working players from the get-go, and it showed early on as he had nearly 400 yards and 4 touchdowns as only a freshman. Although he was a 3 star out of high school, Gabriel sure looked like a star from the beginning, and yet he still had so much more to show as a sophomore. In his second season with the Knights, Gabriel practically duplicated his production, with this time over 800 yards and 7 touchdowns, and was still looking to grow as a junior. Now that he had shown he meant business, Gabriel was going into his junior season looking to show out, and he did just that with over 1200 yards and 12 touchdowns. Yet again, Gabriel upped his play a great deal and now was looking towards the NFL as he declared for the NFL draft after three years at UCF. Going into the draft, Gabriel was not on the top of any draft boards and fell to the fourth round because of it. Although he went a bit later, Gabriel was as happy as a clam that he made it to the big leagues, but still wanted to show out early on. Going into the season, the Bills traded for a star in Stefan Diggs, and so Gabriel was forced to play second fiddle way behind him, which has put him in a situation he'll likely be in for the near future. Although he was outshined by Stefan Diggs, the year was much better for Gabriel than most fourth rounders, as he had just under 600 yards and 7 touchdowns through the air as he helped the team to a solid playoff run. Although he didn't do much in the big games, Gabriel proved enough and is now looking to do more in 21, just like he did at UCF. It may be a bit tricky to improve the production with a monster like Diggs ahead of him, but my man Josh throws the ball quite a bit, so I think Gabriel will have a shot to do his thing. Going into 21, it's going to be pretty interesting to see how the Bills bounce back after such a great 2020 season. Some of the big questions floating around the team are, is Stefan Diggs going to go off again? And upon that, is the team heading back to the AFC Championship? Among probably a dozen others. Anyways, these questions could be important to consider when talking about what's next for Gabriel Davis. A lot of Gabriel's production rests on the play of Stefan Diggs, and upon that whether or not Diggs will replicate the All-Pro success, or have a down year, or whatever can happen. But a big part of Gabriel's game that can allow him to produce is he's a similar play style to a former Bill and John Brown. So if he's able to produce nearly as well as John in 2019, then he'll be fine, and he could probably get his own share of the offense. No matter the case, Gabriel will do whatever is needed out of him in order for the Bills to have legitimate success in 21. Anyways, Gabriel has the skills and work ethic to leave an impact on the field no matter the size, whether big or small, and that will carry him to success in pretty much any avenue. The issue in Buffalo is the fact that they just have such a loaded young offense that he will probably have to go somewhere else to be anywhere close to a number one outside of injuries. But although he might not be a number one in Buffalo, it will be a great time for him to fine tune his skills and use that knowledge wherever he ends up. Nonetheless, with a quarterback like Josh Allen and studs like Diggs, Singletary, Moss, and all the guys on the defensive side, Gabriel will get some legitimate experience in some big games, and that's big for a young player like him. Upon that, Gabriel has played in some of the worst conditions in the NFL up there in New York, and those rough games and snowy weather and the literal freezing cold makes it much easier to play in any other condition. 
Anyways, Gabriel has flew under the radar his entire time at UCF. And now the same thing is happening in Buffalo with Diggs outshining him. But talent always seems to find a way to shine its way through. So I definitely think we'll see more of Gabriel. By the way, do you guys think that Gabriel could have anywhere near Pro Bowl production in Buffalo? Or do you think he should leave once he's a free agent and actually be a potential number one? But either way, he still has a long road to go before he could be one of those guys in the NFL. Although rough, the fact that he's already adjusted so well to the NFL is just a great sign for someone out of even a decent D1 school. Honestly, a lot of supposed star players don't play as well as Gabriel did as a rookie. So hopefully he can use that season as a building block for the rest of his career. Gabriel Davis has gone under the radar of most people in the football world, but he's a stud and soon enough people will know his name. Allen throws and open inside the 20, Gabriel Davis, Gabriel Davis. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed, it would be amazing if you guys could subscribe, like, and comment down below what studs you want me to talk about next. But anyways, see you guys soon and peace out.